Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with this training session which is on Solution Manager. So in this training session, I'll be giving you an overview of what is a Solution Manager and why we need a Solution Manager in an SAP landscape. Basically, Solution Manager is a centralized monitoring tool which monitors your landscape. It could be an ECC system, it could be a BI system, it could be a portal, it could be could be a uh, any other SAP component, it could be SAP router, it could be anything related with SAP. So this product is used for monitoring. This product is move is used for giving centralized access to SAP marketplace. This product is used for downloading the patches downloading the stacks for upgrading the software within uh, the SAP landscapes. This product is basically, it's a centralized product. So let's get into it and see what else it can do. Okay, here, basically, if you see this particular tool, there are few key things that I wanted to highlight. Basically, there is a transaction called Solman underscore work center. This transaction is, it's a work center basically and I'll show you which are the different work centers can be uh, accessed from this and what is the objective of each work center. Okay, now here you can see these are the key work centers that is system monitoring, technical monitoring, technical administration, solution manager administration, SAP engagement service and delivery. So basically, let's see the technical monitoring. Okay, in the technical monitoring, you can see what can be done. Basically, you can see system monitoring. It allows you to access the latest snapshot of monitoring data for systems, for databases and hosts. Okay, then you have connection monitoring. It makes you aware of availability and performance problems for connection between systems. BI monitoring, basically it allows monitoring of all components of a SAP business intelligence solution as business objects web server, business object server and business warehouse. You can do PI monitoring from here, you can do interactive monitoring as well, you can do end mod, uh, delivers availability and performance information from end user perspective. There is an alert inbox also basically in case if they are uh, thresholds exceeding the defined values, it will send you an alert as well. Okay, <coughs> so basically these are the different monitoring component which can be monitored using Solution Manager. So without going into the details of this, let's go into the other work center, but this is basically it's showing the system monitoring view for different components within Solution Manager. Okay, then let's get into the other work, work center. Basically, here you have seen you have all systems, you have ABAP system, you have Java system, you have WebSphere, you have .NET, you have SAP Livecast. So, there is a bunch of systems which can be monitored from here. Now, let's get into the system monitoring we just saw. Let's get into the technical administration work center. Okay, in the technical administration work center, you can see these are the different activities which can be performed centrally from this particular tool. Okay, then let's see solution manager administration. Okay, here you can manage the different landscapes from here. You can do self-diagnostics, you can do self-monitoring and one key thing is you can manage solutions from here. So what is a solution within a solution manager? Basically, all landscape defined within the solution manager, you can define solutions for them. Basically, you can define, okay, this, say for example, an ECC system. Okay, for an ECC system, you have, say, your dev system, your QA system, and your prod system. And you can define a central logical component there, and you can do the monitoring and patch management and change management from that central location using the solutions. Okay. Okay, let's get into the another one is basically the SAP engagement and service delivery. So in this particular work center what you will see is the different 
activities which SAP can perform basically for providing the services for the support request so you can see the service view you can see the session view you can see the graphic view depending on which systems you have connected to solution manager and you can see the service this is basically the details of service early watch report okay so this is an attachment over here you can see the top issues in the landscape you can see the issues which is there okay so basically these are the things which can be uh, defined from SAP engagement and service delivery model okay so here you have different processes process graphic can be seen from here okay next let's see the other work center which is Okay, let this particular work center complete basically we are seeing the graphic of different process here and given that we are not monitoring any of the work centers uh, so this is basically empty now let's get into the solution documentation assistant okay this particular tool you can draw a a process map the business process map of the different processes being used by a company so based on the usage it will tell you okay this is the business process map for your uh, landscape okay so then next is the job management basically you can centrally manage the jobs from this particular work center okay so the job management can happen from here Okay, you can create your job documentation, job monitoring, task inbox, reports can be defined from here. Okay, so that is about these things. Then you can see there is an implementation and upgrade projects can be defined from here. Okay, so let's go to the implementation and upgrade work center. Okay, so here you can define the different projects. And once the project is defined, say for example, if I want to create a project, I can do the project administration, business process, business blueprinting from here. You can do the centralized configuration from here for a particular uh, logical component which or particular solution you can do it from here. Then this is a tab where this particular work center you can do the root cause analysis. So basically you can do system analysis, you can do database analysis, you can do post analysis and you can do end-to-end -end analysis as well okay now in the solution manager configuration tab basically this is the place where you do all your configuration work for the solution manager okay so this is another work center which is there so basically what I'm trying to say here is that you can do the things centrally from this location okay so here you can do the system preparation basically you can prepare your system so once the solution manager is installed you have to come to this page to do the basic configuration work then you have to do the basic configuration over here after that when you are ready you can add the managed systems basically the systems that you want to get monitored from this particular uh, location you can do then technical monitoring Okay, you can define the technical monitoring for them. Okay, you can do IT service management. So basically, these using this work center, you can do pretty much entire monitoring of your different landscape within this. Then let's get into the another key topic, which is change management. So change management. What is a change in a SAP landscape? Change could be like you are uh, you are basically upgrading your s system. So upgrading your SAP version that is a major change so to find out say for example I want to go from 7.0 NetWeaver stack to 7.3 EHP1 stack so how I can go what are the components or what are the softwares I need to install I need to download from the SAP marketplace okay so using this central location you can find out which 
software is required to be downloaded and uh, once it is downloaded then it's basically that is one aspect then another thing is uh, if you are you need to do a say service pack upgrade you can download the patches it can help you to identify the list of patches which is required to be downloaded there is one more key feature which is added is the dependent stack file stack generation so basically what that is that say for example you have your ECC system you have your portal system and there are BI systems so to find out what should be the version of say ECC component for for the component which is used in portal so you can generate a dependency check as well so that it will say it will point out okay if you want to upgrade your portal you have to upgrade this component in ECC so that is one major thing which will make sure that the dependent components work together so that is one major thing and here if you see in the change management one key thing is the maintenance optimizer so using this maintenance optimizer you download the stacks okay so that you can upgrade or you can apply the patches within the environment so that is about uh, this particular transaction that I wanted to show you guys is the work center okay let's go to the next things basically here you have landscape verification tool you have LMDB that is technical system editor so using this tool what you can do is you can centrally basically this is like uh, the another was layer of SLD where you can centrally store everything in the ABAP layer okay then you have LVSM that is landscape verification for solution manager you have SMSY that is solution manager system landscape can be defined here okay in solution manager system landscape say for example here you can see different views like servers databases product systems technical systems are here then you have the system groups okay in the groups you can see you have project landscape so if you have different projects defined they will be seen here you have solution landscape so if you have different solutions defined they will be seen here logical components say for example you have created different logical components say for example you have a netweaver system so you may create logical component under the respective netweaver component okay so that is about this uh, SMSY okay now let's get into let me give you a feel of LMDB what this LMDB is basically the LMDB is it's like a uh, landscape management database where you can centrally manage your landscape say for example I have a system called say this is the system I have it will tell you which what is the ID how do we manage that how do we maintain it okay then this system basically what is the extended ID what is the host name what is the system number and technical scenarios for that you have the custom attributes for that you have product systems for that and what is the software which is there in that system it will give you that information as well you can see that it is ESP2 for uh, so ESP2 if you select it will say okay these are the things that is there these are the software component versions which is present in this okay then if you go to the software component version you can see that, okay this has these many software component versions Okay, let's go to the database part it will tell you which is the database technical instances how many technical instances are there which is the application server which is the message server and says for example I want to go to the ABAP clients this will show you this system has these many clients you can go to the host so host will tell okay this is the host details its installed component versions and where used list it will say that okay you have this host used in application server message server and database instance then you have destinations so these are basically the RFCs which is defined here 
okay then you have technical systems to any system basically so these are the different rfcs which is created okay so that is about the lmdb and let me show you the lbsm as well basically this is another key component which sap has just rolled out in this particular uh, release okay so this being a monit centralized monitoring product what SAP is trying to do is they are trying to centralize all the components which can be monitored, which need to be monitored at this central location and so that you don't have to go to the multiple location to manage these components. Okay, so that is about the LMDB part. Okay, now let's see some of the other things within this particular solution manager like you have uh, other components you can do centralized monitoring you can do other basis related work from here basically you can centrally you can do central admin from here basically from this central location you can monitor and manage other systems okay so that is pretty much I wanted to cover in this particular topic thanks for joining and have a nice day bye bye